Sega. There we go. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, or tonight, along with... Is a mighty Terminator Drakir at your service! <laughs> and welcome Let back to War Hammer 40k Dawn of War 2 Retribution, where we'll, we'll be continuing and probably finishing up the Space Marines uh, <laughs> chapter. And uh, yeah, there's a big freaking red button here to delete your campaign, so <laughs> you need to look for it to clean all of this up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, last time the Armadies, well, practically had the truth to, needed to, the truth to be rubbed into his freaking face before he finally noticed that oh, Kairos may have been a traitor all along, uh, and then he went almost into a PTSD shutdown or not more a. Yeah, mental breakdown over that until the Ancient, aka Tarkus, told them to basically man up and also, Tarkus, how the fuck do you see with that thing in a way? <laughs> because, yeah, he was basically seeing, he was basically seeing Domides go down the same path as Avatus from the last game, so uh, yeah, he wasn't going to have any more of that. But yeah, let's see, we have some skill points for everyone. Let me double check. Inspiring Will for every 10% the Omidies is missing. Fearsome Shout. Let's see, I think we should probably go for Fearsome Shout as the Omid with the Omidies, since it's either that or Heavy Weapons Aptitude, which well, won't get used. And something strikes, which would be pretty good. But I think this one would also be re pretty good, so that we can just use his abilities more often, or at least his uh, to victory shout more often. Plus, it would well fear enemies. So let's go over that way. Okay, and Martellus, um, still a tiny bit unsure. But with what we have available, we could either go for powerful sweep and omnicide fortune. <laughs> or fortitude for more health, which isn't too much. Or we go with extra equipment to get him, well, another accessory slot, as well as Curse of the Machine Spirit, that, so that we can uh, yeah, weaken enemy vehicles. So I think we'll actually go for that. Let's see. Let's actually give you this as well. And no need to give you anything for melee. Unless somehow flamers count as melee damage, which I doubt. Uh, Tarkus. Uh, yeah, let's just finish up going down these two lanes with him. So we get Artillery Master, so that he can call those down now. And Cyrus. Hmm. I'm not too sure if this one would be really too useful here, this remote teleport. It would be good for getting him out of trouble, but typically speaking, he'll be far away from trouble, or should be far away from it. So, extra equipment and less, uh, and less energy consumption whilst infiltrated. Though we haven't actually been using his infiltrate all that much. So... 
Yeah, we did have infiltrate armor. We seemed good at first, but yeah, you had to <laughs> manually keep telling them to attack. Actually, made it less practical. Yeah. Let's go down this way to, for the extra equipment. We might have. We might have more use out of that than just, well, dropping a smoke bomb whenever he stealths. Which would generally be good if he gets overwhelmed, but again, he's supposed to be at the back line. Are you uh, sure let's something? see, who has the shadow skill? You, you have the shadow skill. Uh, Cyrus have? Hmm? Uh, pants pocket? Yeah. Now remember how big a space marine is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even in this year, that's quite the uh, big pockets. <laughs> that, that's basically he just strapped a backpack on his thigh. Uh, oh, he still one onto his pants, Roger. Let's actually swap these around and give Cyrus this armor, because yeah, it, the permanent infiltration sounds good, but it does mean that we have to keep telling whoever is wearing it to actually attack. Which, well, gets a bit annoying. Yeah, it's an unnecessary micromanagement. Like, sure, it's stealth, but it's more practical when they stealth tell themselves. Then they still be able to attack, which will reveal them until they finish. Uh, uh, shooting, at least, but no, here they just force you to micromanage it all. Yeah. In a very unpractical mm. way. Let's see. Final gift of the artificer. We could use this to get a lightning claw, a heavy bolter, a plasma gun, or a sniper rifle. And we haven't gotten any heavy bolter, so I'm tempted to turn this in for Tarkus. Though. Let's. Level 5, level 6, level 6, and level 4. Hmm, maybe it would be better to get the Lightning Claw or something, but we still have some time before we need to go there. For now, though, let's go finish up our optional missions before we head over to Cyrene. Brothers and sisters, the human ships have carved large fishes into the world. Some deep enough to cleave the buried craft world. We located the infinity circuit. The flames reach deep and every biodome, every soul stone, nothing remains for us here. All are to report to the webway assembly. Once we return to the webway, we will collapse the channel to the craft world, sealing this tomb for eternity. It is rare to have the element of surprise against the Eldar, and we may obtain something of value from them. Yeah. Targets, webway gates, destroying webway gates will slow the Elders' escape. And the other war host is well fortified, deploy with anti-vehicle and anti-building weaponry. Okay. Holy... Um, hmm? I just saw something in the rewards there. For the Devastator Squad. Yeah, to give them heavy bolters. Which we could take that if... Uh, actually, no, is, is that... No, that's the advanced targeting. That is... Uh, deal extra damage, but no suppression. Which kind of defeats the points if, of the, the, the Devastators, if you ask me. Since, well, they are the best way to pin down enemies. Which makes them easier targets. Well, it not really actually. If they do 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 more damage, it means they're able to help out not only to suppress them but also bring them down. Yeah, but yeah, it would be good for swapping between. But if we have them on advanced targeting, then any melee units will be able to just run up and kick their asses before they'd get uh, killed. I think. But we could have it as a good option. For now, yeah, I see no need for honor guards. Don't forget, if you have more than one Devastator Squad, one does the painting and one does the... Well... Slaying. Uh, um, yeah, slaying, I guess. <laughs> I was trying to think of whatever the... Oh, right, you don't intentionally make hole in cheese. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so you can uh... turn, turn them into sweet cheese. There we go. <laughs> This tomb, you pathetic, soulless savages! 
Very well. If you are so eager to hear our cries, I shall shred your mind with the wail of the Banshee! Butcher them! Do not let them near the gates or the assembly! Okay, again, just for some reason the game getting unselected by something. Okay. Okay, I, I'm not even sure if I actually saw Tarkus launch an attack there or not. It, it, are those shots going into that little thing there? It might be. Yeah, the accuracy is still an issue with these things. <laughs> okay. You hit another rock instead. <laughs> Rules are flying. Oh, that was actually a good shot this time. We do have to keep in mind that thing has only 25% accuracy. Yeah, but when it does hit, we move. On team, it has actually been somewhat pretty accurate uh, from what I've seen. Yeah, we just have to keep in mind that. Uh, terrain is also going to be a bit of an issue so we yeah. we prefer to have him overlook an area and not try to fire up on things yeah Tarkus over there I still don't think about it. Many times we did sort of miss and it's from the center, at least that it close enough to blast off a group or something. Or just end up keeping the enemy behind them or something like that. Or next to yeah. them. <laughs> so it's not too bad. Okay, I can that looked like it just plain misfired or something, because I didn't even see an attack come out. <laughs> what did I that was just end okay. You quickly sneak in and destroy that thing. Oop. He got spotted. Okay. Primary target. Priority targets and no. Oh, okay, I thought that <laughs> I thought that the demolition charge would take this thing out, but no. Okay. Yep. Okay. I can't be the only one who just did not see a, a plasma ball come out of there at all. Like, I'm guessing this thing does just misfire every now and then because. Plasma tech is even mis not well understood by uh, the Space Marines themselves. I missed that was. Uh, there we go. It's only off my eye. I hear you. Go ahead. I am on the way. Okay. I am on the move. Yes, yes, the army is. You're not in melee, Cyrus. Okay. What is this missing? You know, you know what I think is going on? Hmm? Ever since his, he removed his helmet, his aim has been off. Well, we did see just that his, his vision is at least half blocked by his own pauldrons. That was a good hit, though. Yeah, direct hit on the walker. Okay. Okay. Get some extra troops to speed this up. Nope. Clear that place out, please. Tarkus coming as well. Of course, the Terminus just walks straight through the bloody wall. Okay. Help with that, will you, please? 
Okay, maybe I should have put the game on a higher difficulty because this is getting a bit too easy, maybe. But we can make we can probably do that for the other factions. To see how that goes. Some levels have been harder and easier than others. It seems like it always depends on the faction and the level. Yeah, like some have some have it easier than others, definitely. Like the orcs could mostly just swarm everything with numbers. And that was a direct hit, I'm pretty sure, by Tarkus. Um, what happened to the body? What body? Um. <laughs> Put the carry-on seal, okay. And yeah, if we if we play the other factions on normal difficulty, we'll also get to see if there actually is something that uh, <clears throat> if it actually that actually does give a big better chance at better gear. So can anyone fire from over there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Time for heavy weapons. Cyrus, what are you doing up front? Okay, I, I just don't get the AI every so often with this. Wait, mm -hmm. I just realized. We can summon our own uh, dreadnoughts. Yep. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. But I think at this point, yeah, it's too much. Uh, it's too much for the population cap. You're definitely gonna need it on the final level for. I just want to go for the quality. Yeah. Well, since it's basically just calling in the honor guard as well. Okay, Martellus, capture that. You capture that. The rest of you. Cyrus, grab that. The rest, just go kill over there. Oh, now we can summon the one, not the uh, Dreadnought. Yep. Okay. Martellus. Hmm. Actually, we can probably use... Yeah, we can probably call it the <laughs> Blessing of the Machine Spirit. And then just have it go stomping all over the place. Oh dear, and don't forget the loot. Well, we're gonna throw step. Assault dispenser. Okay, that's the upgrade. The next upgrade for the assault marines. Armor of fate. Yep. Oh, we need more zeal for using that. Okay. Cyrus, demo charge. You lot focus on that. Martellus, you might want to get in on this as well. He just seems to get very easily distracted with everything, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well. Nibble and scavenge at our bodies, mindless vermin. The Inquisition's ships come for all in this sector. It matters not whether you die by our hand or theirs. It's also just a good, a strong point of this game, just the voice acting. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's see. Iron Halo. Recovered in a cache of chapter records on planet Hadrian, this powerful Iron Halo is a relic from the Blood Raven's mysterious early days. Okay. Beyond that, what we got Bolter of the Iron Snake, plus health, plus accuracy. Okay, so this thing has over 100% accuracy. Hmm. I wonder if the extra 6% actually attributes to something or if it's just uh, wasted, basically. 50% uh, chance per hit to recover 1% health. That would be really good if uh, Tarkus was going the tank route. Let's see. 
Brother Sergeant Zeman of the uh, Iron Snakes carried this ancient weapon into battle against the cruel Dark Elder during their raids upon the Lockhart system. The alien lives, uh, the alien lives. Zeman uh, took our yeah, our far outnumbered by those he saved from the slave pits. Yeah, because the slave pits from the Dark Elder typically don't have a very high uh, survivability rate. Oh dear. An Apothecarian Seal 15 Health Regen. This treasured seal was lost to the Blood Ravens when Apothecarian Gordian gave his life to repel High Fleet Leviathan. Okay, calling back to the finale of the base game. All right. And yeah, Assault Dispensation, recycle for the upgrade, next upgrade for the Assault Marines. Armor of Faith, 89. Okay. Mark 7 or uh, oh, but his description is so basic. Oh well. And last but not least, the Light of Calderas. Let's see. Projectile deals damage and knocks back units it passes by. Okay. And extra in extra accuracy. So that basically it's a coin flip if this thing hits or not. But the projectile does move slower, so it's not going to be good against moving targets. I guess the users and allies nearby. Bonus. Yep. Okay, so if we have Tarkus move up closer with this thing, it would help a lot with Cyrus. And, well, the Omedes and Martellus is going to be up close anyways. Wait. With each volume... Is this maybe better than we at current use? Yep, I'm pretty sure. The slower projectile will be a bit of an issue, but most of the time we'll be firing into standing enemies anyways. It's actually... It would probably be better to move Tarkus up closer and aim at something at the back of the battlefield to try and get anything in between. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that could hit our own targets as well. Oh. Let's see. With each volley, an expanse of the Calderas Desert turned to glass and a mob of greenskinned scavengers fell apart like boiled meat. When the Blood Ravens first set foot on Calderas, it was infested with orcs. When they left, the native human tribes were free from the orc menace and in awe of their armored saviors from the stars. Yeah, because the, the orcs don't always just murder everyone. If they can take over tribes of humans and such, they will enslave them instead to do work. Let's see. Necron Bane. It's, uh, on first hit, disable vehicle. 12 extra damage. We have 12% damage resistance if ranged. In the blackness of a massive subterranean cavern, Brother Fortune stu uh, steadied his mighty last cannon and unleashed its great power on scores of awakened Necron destroyers. Their ancient armor melted and fused together like so much uh, plastic slag. Fortune bore this weapon into battle on countless worlds, De devoting his long life to restraining the Necron Menace. Okay. Would be good if we hadn't... <laughs> well, if we didn't have better already. Uh, let's see. We can get the last upgrades for the Devastators I... or Thunder and Lightning for the Assault. Means that we can also get this one just from recycling the uh, the thing we found. Yes, it was just say, let's take the Devastator Squad thing since we already got the other thing, uh, so we can get the other one for free anyway. Yeah. Okay. We could have otherwise gotten the sergeant upgrade from this, but I think just getting the bombs is going to be better. So, Tarkus, you're going to be playing as a lighthouse from now on. My no. eyes did not like that. Okay, so level 10 armor, the armor of fate, and it does seem to be like most, uh, yeah, most of the green, uh, of the green level gear is nor and just gets a normal description except for a few. Hmm. Let's see, blasphemy of the Mechanicus. Misfire from this weapon resulted in the destruction of a land raider entrusted to the salamanders. The Adeptus Mechanicus decried the weapon as tainted for its role in the loss of the vehicle, but Forge Father Histan refused to relinquish it to them to be dismantled. Okay. And shows the disabled vehicles. Don't show me again. Yeah. Okay, chance on hits. Deal massive damage and disable vehicle. Hmm. 
no level requirement? Yep. Oh, and oh, it, everyone except size can earlier. use it. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I'm a bit tempted to give that to Marcellus just to see how that goes. You mean... Oh wait, it's a plasma gun, not a heavy plasma. All right. Yeah, though I don't think he would be too happy to be wielding this thing. <laughs> I think many take marines love those damn things. Yeah, but since it's literally called blasphemy of the Mechanicus, I don't think uh, he'll want to touch it beyond the as much as necessary. Okay. This armor is a sacred relic of the Adeptus Astartes. We shall deliver it to our chapter master. Lord Kyrus now serves the dark powers. You now serve the dark powers. This corpse god's base we stand in is not a sanctified shrine of your chapter. It is a fort to be plundered. And this land raider we have unearthed is not a relic. It is a spoil of war to be defiled and bent to our will. My lords, come in. Do you read? What is it, Well, Why do you interrupt? Beg your forgiveness, my lord, but we found another one. A war machine. A sacred land raider. In the hands of traitors? By the Omnissiah, Kairos cannot be allowed to hold such a sacred weapon. Agreed. Not only shall he be denied it, we shall have it for ourselves. The ruin that such a war machine will sow among these traitors will be terrible. Oh, right, yeah, this is not the final mission. Yeah, it's, it's not yet. <laughs> we are close to it, though. And yeah, yeah of okay. course, Martellus is extremely insulted by them having their hands on a land raider. Yeah. I, I was to ask, what is the rewards on the final mission? That would be a bit wasteful. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <clears throat> and... It was actually somewhat recently that I learned that the name Land Raider actually comes from a... Or Raider is the class of it, I believe, somewhat. But uh, the name Land is actually the last name of the one who rediscovered the template for it, I believe. I did not know that. Fall back, Renegades. Come no closer. Damnation. Brothers, the Land Raider will not move. It's machine spirit. Quickly, we must crush them. Okay. Renegades Blood Ravens. Or Trader Blood Ravens. So let's deal with them all the same. Okay, sneaky fucker put down a turret immediately. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Parkers, you're not supposed to hit our team with that. Okay. And now we have a land raider, <laughs> which is basically a mobile fortress. So we have one, two, three, <laughs> four guns on there. You you you, you poke it on top of a space marine's head. His head is spawned on the port on his head. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We know with Daisy that if we put people into it, they would man the guns. Would it be the same here? That would make sense. And also, what's with you and vehicles at times? <laughs> Let's get at least some devastators. We cannot do this. Okay. Actually, what a does something happen if I put you in there? Because these things also work as APCs. <laughs> okay, well, if they don't work, if they don't man the guns, we'll still be able to get them up closer and make use of them that way. Oh, right. The army is go grab that quickly. We'll just move on. Okay. Not yet, we're going to grab this first. Cyrus, if you please. Yep. 
Uh, I, I imagine this area smelling like rotten eggs. Probably, yeah, uh, with all the sulfur. The Omnis catch up. Okay. This could be a personal preference thing, but I mostly prefer to use attack moves to send units over to places, because if you just tell them to attack something and they're at the back, then they will just stop moving the moment that that thing is dead. That's Martellus, call down your buddy. Uh, uh, you want to get... Okay, good thing that that doesn't cause any damage to our <laughs> units. Oh, the awkwardness if you actually crush the land ladder under one of those. Yeah, but <laughs> Martellus would go on an infinite redemption crusade after that. Uh, actually, oh dear. Martellus, can you cut it out with that one? And if there's any vehicle here that we should be using to enhance with that, so, now get out of there. It should be the Land Raider. Uh, also, let's do a, Actually, I think we found out that there is a limit to the range of that. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Okay, Martellus. Enhance that thing. Oh, there goes the ball! Um. <laughs> okay, what, was it pulling debris along with it there? I think it did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's more like requiring a miniature, like a miniature singularity. And there's noise marine somewhere. Yep. You. File a noise complaint with them, please. Tarkus. Yeah, I'd say target the temple, but it's about to go down anyways. Hey. And Vortex grenades that uh, see miniature similarities? Sort of. It bang. <laughs> Darkest, stop. Step back for a bit and grab that. Hmm. Even more population. And, uh, yeah, looks to me like we don't really need to clear these buildings out much since we're bringing them down quite quickly. Especially if we keep in hands in this thing. Okay. We're over there. Now, where's Martellus? All the way over there. Okay, you have quite the reach on that, still. Okay. Okay, it seems that it doesn't actually hurt our units as it passes them by. Painfully. Uh, uh. Well, the other one occasionally threw our uh, units around on the impact. Yeah, need more power. Uh, oh. Uh, can you summon... Okay, odds. Okay, it seems that we did lose the dreadnoughts. <laughs> uh, oh, but we can resummon it. Okay, that is nice to know. So basically we could, on higher difficulties, we could just call this thing in, send it in to weaken up someplace, and then just resummon it. Okay. Dummies, grab that quick. And then the rest can push forwards to this bunker. 
But that's Martellus. a good focus. Loot in hands. I should not call those down. Okay, I think the land raider took that thing out in one shot. Uh, yeah, 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 what's what it says that it made my screen share lag. And that's how the typical uh, Imperial Guard charge gun use, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, Lehman Russ. It's about to just be a, a crushed can of lemons. Okay. You, you know, you do know who it's named after, right? Yep. <laughs> Through it. Lehman Russ, the Primarch. Oh. Okay, Cyrus, sneak off for a moment and go grab that. What is the Primo Primo Golf? <laughs> One of the chapters. Uh, you don't know which chapter, do you? Uh, I've forgotten which one specifically, but there's like literally hundreds of them. Space Was it the wolves. Iron Wolves? The Space Wolves, the close space. enough. I even what? I That's Diablo! <laughs> okay. I from Diablo 2 and... Yeah, they are playing in the 3 as well. <laughs> okay. Now tell us, go with the arrow. Okay, if we turn off that AI control, it'll work better for us because otherwise it'll mostly try to defend Martellus. Which is nice and all, but I think we'd prefer it if we stay on the offensive mostly. You have Captain Diomedes. Uh, again, he's he's just saying that like he's picking up the fucking phone. Command, yeah, I feel like people have been memeing about him a bit. But yeah. He, he does the voice acting in yellow, but for his character when you're ordering around and all that? Yeah, he, he is more ham than a full cow. Or is ham not... A ham, if he has more ham than the entire pig farm. There we go. Let's just say, you do remember where you get ham from, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, the Dreadnought has fallen, but uh, Martellus can glue it back together in a minute or so. Okay. And it seems that uh, we're not the only ones who have issues with Predator Drivers, seeing as this one is literally showing us his ass. Actually, can we... What happens if we call it down on top of something? Does it actually work? Will this thing actually survive long enough for it to be crushed? Uh, okay. So much just for the experiment. <laughs> yeah. Also, just the fact that uh, these things come with two massive flamethrowers that's just going to be the bane of every <laughs> infantry ever. Yeah, okay. like, I imagine those are damn good for dealing with tyrannids. Yeah. <laughs> At least until uh, they have sent in enough rippers to clog the wheel, uh, the track wheel or something. I can deal with that thing, Wait please. A oh, that was not ours. I was to say, why is that... Oh, don't know that tank. <laughs> yeah, they snuck up on us. Okay. Additional requisition required. Predator tank deployed. Let's put that back on the armies. Okay, and the tank. Okay. 
Gotta head on over, clear this out, and then deal with the second land raider that they found. Okay. Hmm. Actually, you make a small detour because we know that there's a predator tank parked over here. So we might as well deal with that as well. There. Okay, good shot, Tarkas. Yeah, it looks like that 50% accuracy really does help quite a lot. Or extra 25% more. Okay, deal with that. Hank has done his job. Incoming! Well, all the exterminate and the squad. because corn doesn't care whose blood gets spilled and how just that it flows. Okay. And I th I think <laughs> I think just by it spawning it destroyed the predator that was over there. Oh dear. Okay. Well, you can equip your last cannon. It should help a bunch. Okay. Yes, I shall grind you all to crystal beneath my trace. Blood for the blood god. I shall pay it the honor of battle. Okay, it, it takes quite a bit of time to put that thing on. It, Okay, but at the very least, this predator is acting as a good distraction. Yep, <laughs> just before uh -oh. the fire works. <laughs> good or not, what? Uh, where's my mouse? Okay. And it dropped something on the ground! <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it still gets see? picked up. Uh, yo, thank goodness. Land Raider Redeemer. Heavy transport tank equipped with anti-infantry flamestorm cannons, a multi-melter turret, and a twin-linked assault cannon. Can launch a barrage of frag grenades, can heal and reinforce nearby squads. <laughs> So yeah, it's basically a super heavy version of the uh, <clears throat> of the other APC. Let's see, master crafted plasma cannons. Uh, basic description: star shield, twenty uh, two fifty extra health and twenty health regen. Let's see. The nine. For nearly a millennium, brother Gun uh, patrolled the halls of Strike Cruiser Decimus. Uh, rarely did his boots touch solid earth, but he uh, did not want for battle. Mysterious Eldor, uh, <clears throat> creatures of the warp, and even the undying Necron boarded the Decimus during instant and stellar flight. Brother Gunn stood against them all and died among the stars after a lifetime of vigilance. Okay. Yeah, that's going okay. to that's, <laughs> that's going to go on uh, the Almedes. And let's see, Hammer of the Nameless. Special attacks do explosive damage, knocking back and stunning infantry, plus 100 health and plus 20 melee skill. <clears throat> oh, pardon? <clears throat> this mighty weapon was lost to the Blood Ravens 10 years ago when its wielder, the youngest fort commander in the chapter's history, was branded a renegade by chapter at Master Kairos. Many Blood Ravens believe that this hammer banished the, you know, the, the plague demon Ulcare back into the warp. Okay, so this, 
<laughs> this it's is the hammer of hammer. our character. Yeah. <laughs> so or shotguns for no. scouts. Pretty ha easy hammer. choice. Hammer time. Hammer time. Hammer time. And suddenly I have my brain feels with Hammerfall songs. <laughs> It's been a while since I've listened to their track, so I probably should do that again. Yeah, you're getting that. And your last skill point goes to Fearsome Shout. <clears throat> okay. 46. I think giving you good armor is going to be a good idea. Plus extra energy means more grenades and such. And yeah, Curse of the Machine Spirits. We should be able to make some use of that. Then we have Tarkus. Let's see. I don't think giving you the Shadow Scale would be a good idea because of the, well, everything. We can keep you on that yeah. weapon. Neither okay. of these is going to be better, so we can trade those in. I really? And. I feel like, like the shadow armor should be good, but it isn't. Yeah, and well, it seems that Cyrus has fallen behind a tiny bit on experience, so let's use this. And let's see, L3 gen, actually what I have half here. Mm-hmm. Health regen would probably have been better on the Omedes, but I think this... Hmm, let's, let's swap these out. Since... Yeah, his, yeah, his abilities are already going to recharge pretty quickly as is. Plus, it doesn't say how much it... Uh, and it's on damage, lowers ability recharge times, but how much by each hit that it doesn't say and such. Also, we didn't see what this does can project a force field that uses energy to absorb damage. Okay. Hmm. And only he can use it. Yeah, since it's a commander item. Now then, let's see. Last point. I... Hmm. I don't think it'll be of much use to have uh, Cyrus get another item here, since... I don't think any of these are going to be too useful. And then I, hmm, He's better than I, nothing. Yeah, let's get this drop smoke anyways, just in case he does get ganged up on and needs to run away. All right, then. Let's have a look at everything else then. Weapons, armor. Hmm. Do we keep the plasma on Martellus or do we swap back to the flamethrower? It did seem to do a really good job, but when we did use it. Yeah, and it is very oh, on it is a chance on hit, but it's still a very strong <laughs> thing that when it does trigger. Again, it is something with older games that I don't you know, that I don't really like, that it doesn't show percentages of such things and such. But oh well. <clears throat> And then we have one last thing, the final gift of the Artificer. I'm pretty sure we're not going to swap out the Omnis' hammer. Um, I think it's Cyrus works better game. with... Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, what... Sniper gun. What, what level is the sniper gun? Only level four. Hmm. We haven't gotten a single heavy bolter, though, but I think we do want to keep... Tarkus with this thing, as much as uh, yeah. <laughs> it's an issue for I him know. to aim. Let's be honest, I think this one will be rather working just damn well on the final mission. Yeah, so it's a new sniper for Cyrus, huh? Yeah, it would be fair. Let's see, the Merciful Judge, level 10. On hits, deals a large chunk of delayed damage. If the unit dies from this blow, they will explode, knocking back nearby enemies. Okay. No level requirement. Level. Yeah, oh. but you, you, you can only get these specific ones from trading in the uh, consumables. So you would only get uh, this later in the game anyways. 
I'm so glad I actually spoke up. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. There is no heretic more fortunate than he who draws my eye. His final moments are not the fury of battle nor the agony of interrogation. He sits upon his liar's throne and dreams his liar's dreams. And then he simply ends. Scout Sergeant Kuzmunski. Okay. I think we are set for the final battle then. Okay, let's put this traitor <laughs> back in the can he deserves. Yeah, it, it, it has a unsettling feel to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> nihilistic murder. Okay. Yeah, though it does, it, there's not a criticism, it is, it's, I'm kind of pretty if it does give you a very good, they do it well, but it's supposed to make you feel uneasy. Yeah, like, Space Marines live for centuries, if not millennia. And, uh, well, I think even with all of their... <laughs> even with all of their mental conditioning and such, uh, it's not too surprising that nihilism will set in over the, well, literally hundreds of years over time, especially if they lose faith in what they actually are fighting for and <laughs> throw in a few freaking demons whispering in their ears. Oh, dear. You take your sauna hobby a bit too far. Cyrene was my home. Yet when the need was made evident, I did not hesitate to contact the Inquisition. By my hand, Cyrene burned. Cyrene's secrets now live solely with me, and so shall they die with me. Whether I'm victorious or slain, my sins will know retribution. Such is the final testimony of Gabriel Angelos, captain of the Blood Ravens, Third Company. Savior of Tartarus, Bane of the Black Legion. Servant of the Emperor. I do have to wonder though, what the fuck was Gabriel Jets. up to all this time? <laughs> and yeah, hello there in chat, uh, Roy Maxka. 
<laughs> okay, mind if I just call you Roy? Uh, welcome to I the stream, and how are you doing today? <laughs> yeah, hello and welcome to this madness. <laughs> okay. Okay, Apollo is not going to be happy about that. And hello to Tatum. What was that? Oh, that's there's. That's where they want me to do. I, I shall grant Tatum's wish. I shall. Wish? <laughs> I think you mean wish. Wish, 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 <laughs> wish. <laughs> Their wish uh, to book Killian. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Uh, how are you doing as well, Tatum? Well, I hope. <laughs> oh, they did do a ballot. Oh, they so did right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Though I get the feeling it might have been preemptive uh, on you, where you <laughs> were going to call them little potato again. Uh, no. <laughs> I think I'm finally able to say Tatum uh, fluidly. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh, targets took quite a bit of a hit. Okay. Let's go this way. And uh, yeah, welcome to the final level of uh, Dawn of War 2 Retribution. Though we are not done with the game just yet after this, though we will be moving it over to the weekend. And move on to some other games, because as, as much fun of it as this game is, it does get to drag on a bit if we just do all six factions after each other. <laughs> yeah, I should be pondering if we should do like... A, like we do the two beats, then we do another side game, then we return to this, like uh, taking turns, if that makes sense? Maybe. It, it'll always be quite delayed, and what, what is knock, what was knocking them back there? Okay. Oh! Oh! Um! I'm gonna turn into meat chunks. <laughs> it's happened to plenty already. It, Okay, Cyber's getting suppressed by Tarkas on accident. But, yeah. We'll see about the Tyranids in the weekend. And I think things should be slow enough there, like one video every week. For it uh, to not get too repetitive on everything. And, yeah, look, lucky enough the pulsing when it travels through enemies doesn't damage our, our units. But it does... Damage the uh, enemy units. It does seem to cause issue once it lands on its final target. Yeah, but that's been the. the... Okay, I accidentally swapped over to targets on that. But that's been the thing with all plasma cannons. That's <laughs> the only it's got reminded of again. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, all, all of the plasma cannons have been dealing damage like that to anything in range. Which is fitting since, well, it's a freaking plasma grenade going off, basically. Commend my service to the Emperor. Emperor, keep you, Librarian. I go now to redeem our chapter. Such are the ways of demons to lie and mislead us. Destroying it is the only way to avoid its influences. Again, I really, I really am curious about what Gabriel has been doing all this time while we've been doing all the work. Probably fighting. Yeah, but how, how did he even know that we'd be here with all of this? Actually, actually we probably just we probably just uh, sent him a voice message or something. Okay, Marcellus, love your friends. 
Cyrus that's Cyrus went down. <laughs> yeah, it is. Plasma thing is awesome. That's Mortellus down as well. Okay, luckily the Dreadnought is still stomping around. Come on, fly over there. I think the exploded to beat chokes is not the plasma, heavy plasma cannon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Cyrus, pick them up. <laughs> Another red mist. <laughs> yeah, what are the armor? Some of the heavy armor pieces remain. <laughs> um, should we get Roll World for Christmas? Maybe. Okay. Just repair that thing, Tarkus, where are you? Uh, there. <laughs> okay, pick that up. Okay, it looks like Tatum's in a good mood today. Oh yeah. I am on okay. the way. I will leave it a ruin. Point secure. Uh, keep up the repairs there. Okay. Either wrote, wrote something? We have enemy uh, not really, the Mao. Yeah, okay, what's going on then? Nothing too serious, I hope. Departing now. Uh, let's see. Population cap. Oh, <laughs> of course, this thing has the most requirements. Uh, let's see. Diomedes, can you. You cannot jump over there. We tried that with breakfast with the orcs. Let's see. Let's go grab this thing over here. I do want to bring the land raider in before we reach Kairos. whack-a-mole with those things again. Not so much whack-a-mole, let's just get rid of them. Uh, let's see, being punched by depression. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's rough. Let's see. Cyrus, why do you have to go with... Oh. Okay, that's the... Okay, that's Cyrus the sniper doing that. <laughs> okay. I, he, I think it's both who have been doing that. For that one, it's actually explosion happening. Yep, well, we did read it in the description that it quite literally causes enemies to explode if they die from that damage, and well, very obviously, they will die from it. Okay. Go repair. You three push on ahead. And get rid of that eyesore up there. Okay. Get ready to get some reinforcement. Yeah. Yep. Tarkus. I see there's a power station over there. Let's see. Let's get some Devastators at least. Since those are always good. Yeah. Okay, you go grab that. The rest should be able to deal with this. Just absolutely terrible aim on that thing. Okay, just take out the entire side of the temple. Why don't you? Okay. Okay, steel targets. Uh, there. Cyrus, leave a present, will you? You pull back a bit. So you don't go up in flames as well. 
Oh, never mind, it's still standing. Okay. Martellus, keep up those blasted repairs. Or not, okay. to the next one over here okay Command moving there the okay the devastators will have to catch up and yeah i really want that land raider to join in so once we grab that we can call it forth so we should probably do that from here so it doesn't have to chase after us and the loader in chat pizza love how are you doing today hello pizza You could say they need retribution. Uh, I'm not here this week. Let's see here. Pizza Love has written something there. No. Okay, oh, this is you read here. <laughs> uh, yeah, th he crawled into some Terminator armor and refuses to come back out. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Helian removed its arm, sadly enough. <laughs> But uh, yeah, how are you? Uh, let's see. Oh, and the Lodric here, how are you? <laughs> and I'm doing well. I'm doing rather very Gosh, well sure. today. I'm Yourself? Excited. Okay, I just really love this sniper rifle. Just the amount of, <laughs> it just one shots these things. I hear you. Go ahead. <laughs> I yep. Attention. No. Can we summon the Land Raider once this is done? Carcass, new target. Yes, we can, so bringing this thing forth. <laughs> That's all chaos must be. Is he gonna read your chat here? From Pizza Lover, I can just imagine that Dan is clone into a suit of armor and refuse to come out when his mother calls him. <laughs> There's a reply from my early question. I'm not doing great myself already. I'm not doing great myself, really. Okay. Seems that everyone's Does having everyone a bad day today. To well, I, I, I hope we are able to give you all some form of joy and entertainment. Okay, now come the heavy weapons. Okay, big ass land raider coming through. Okay, gotta deal with those still. Okay, even more population. Yep, come on, keep moving, you lots. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, my health keeps ge uh, it keeps on getting worse and worse every day. A few days ago, I started passing out, and today I passed out for around 40 minutes to one hour and 30. And time, you know, it turns out when I passed out, I hit my head on something and it bled. Okay, yeah, that's oh. definitely more going on then. Yeah, that might 
need to look into. Yeah. If you haven't seen a doctor about that already, really go see one, Pizza. That sounds like it could be really serious. Yeah, it, it could be stress related. But I have just out from stress myself. But it could also be something else. I do like that you can actually see him throw the rocks up into the air during the little cinematics. Okay. Next point. This way. It also kind of looks funny. <laughs> like he goes down and starts throwing his uh, rubber duck at you. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Pizza, all I have. It's mostly due to the fasting that I am required to do. I think, or some other reason. Okay, so basically the solution for one thing is turning out to be a cause of problems for another. Uh, yeah, maybe you should loosen up a bit on that then, <laughs> Pizza. But the absolute least, keep, the, uh, keep your uh, doctor informed on everything. Oh dear. Okay. Being informed, the doctor. Right, that's good. Yeah, let's see. She's informed. Okay. Let's see. Okay, for a moment I thought we had lost one of the dreadnoughts, but no. Cyrus, wrap that quickly. Okay. Okay, good. For one last push to the next offering place. Let's see, but right now I'm just doing something every child hates, which is homework, so I'll be chatting here and there, not too much till it gets done. Okay. You're being better about that than Cookie, then. We haven't seen in a while. Yeah, but it could be busy. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get some more Devastators. Uh, let's see, there's one more population expansion over there. Oop, fucking demons. Let's actually equip you with the last cannon. As long as it takes to actually swap those out. Okay. Targus, target that one. I think with the terrain it actually doesn't matter if it's uphill or such with the plasma cannon since the shot seems to be traveling just along the ground. Like a an overly destructive cannonball. Or bowling ball more accurately. A bowling ball of very, very intensely hot energy. Yeah. Carcass, take out the tank. The yeah, armory since your next uh, thing already. And a one shot, okay. Yeah, I feel like Tarkus and Cyrus are doing some good work. Yes. <laughs> Target is taking out the tanks, and Cyrus is just picking off targets one by one. 
The army is get in there. Go back. We should have. <laughs> should, I should have done that a lot earlier to give it an assault cannon. Okay. You also get one of those. I'm going to do too much against them in the building, but I will. Martellus, get the healing. And I was the predator taking the last shot. Okay. Deal with the rest, please. And tell us, keep up the repairs. And once the place is mostly secure... Oops, hello. Dying Light. A game that's also on the two-stream list for some time. Well, eventually, I think. But not yet. Sadly, getting glued on the final level. Yeah. Gabriel, you were always the best of us. I will see you avenged. Kairos. Now the man truly reflects the monster. Okay, good thing I had everyone move our way already. Okay, more repairs. Okay. Everyone else who doesn't need repairs, though, move on ahead. I am on the way. Let's keep going until we get over there. Yep, you lot as well. You have done to the Blood Ravens. Much shall be avenged this day. For Gabriel! For the Emperor! For the chapter! For those who have fallen! For those who cannot be redeemed! Come to me then, loyal servants of the Court's Emperor! Come to your doom! Okay, one more to repair. And they said that Jonah was down here as well somewhere, but I don't see him among everything. Like, we have Gabriel and then just some random Space Marines over here. Well, did he have the right nearby? Hmm. But they did split up. Okay. Cyrus, capture that, please. And I think the moment we move forward, everyone gets teleported. To the entry for the fight. Okay. What word? Well then, let's set this to auto make predators. Okay. And in we go. Yeah, everything can get teleported. Okay. Split up a bit. Martellus. Support the Land Raider. And actually, since he's stuck in there, you can probably use some of the... Uh, yeah, some of the explosives, since he can't actually run away from them. 
Okay. Okay, Cyrus. Ventilation charges, Martellus, grenades. And the Devastators have lost someone already. <laughs> okay. Got enemies coming in from behind. Okay, half of you go deal with them quickly. Uh, right, of course. <laughs> the armor is has the anti-vehicle grenades, and he's up at the front. So we can't really help much with these, but that one can, though. First of our reinforcements. Okay, everyone focus fire. All the grenades, all the explosives, every freaking thing. <laughs> okay, Cyrus got nuked by something. Okay, Yamis, quickly jump away for a sec. If, if you can. Yep. Martellus, why are you in melee? Let's get a grenade in there, and then support the land raider. Okay. I think we're actually being... Yep, let's see. Pizza, can I ask you guys a question? Go ahead. Ask and learn. Let's try this frog assault as well. See what that does. Okay, just to <laughs> unleash another barrage of bullets and explosives. What is with this thing going around like that? Oh, hey, I can't answer your question, for I don't know what my favorite nut is. Uh, I guess peanut for me. No, I, I don't have much. Uh, I don't have it broad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, basically, all the only nuts I really tried have been the ones in peanut butter and such, so I guess by default. But you never eaten cashew nuts? Or any yeah, I think I've tried them. I think, I've, it. I think oh, I've tried dear. cashews at one point, but I didn't like them. Oh, he's put up his little shields. I don't know if we need to destroy all three of them before we can start damaging again, or just enough to expose his health bar again. I'm receiving Fox communications from Captain Angelos' battle barge, Olivia Fury. Tell him to execute orbital bombardment on Kyrus. Quickly, before he regains his strength. Okay, and there we go. finish to it felt a bit off with that uh, power icon in front of him yeah <laughs> well he had the power now he doesn't anymore because <laughs> he's dead uh let's see pizza to the term just eating nuts right now so that's why i asked my personal favorite is walnut okay and dying light level 10 melt a gun only my allies deal plus 12 range damage okay in the last moments of her life, Canoness Webb bestowed her blessing on the wielder of this Meltagon, an, an inexperienced space marine of the Imperial Talents chapter. The two warriors stood together defending an Imperial Bastion for days without rest. 
Webb's death drove the young Space Marine to acts of great heroism. The assaulting Black Legions, the, the, the assaulting Black Legion forces fell before the Adeptus Astartes, and the Bastion was saved. Okay. And that's two out of six factions done now. Good timing too. This is Diomedes. I'm on Cyrene. Kyrus is dead. You must halt the Exterminatus. And what of Angelos? We have rebuilt, and once more are great. We have forged a chapter not warped in Enigma, but one the Emperor can look upon with pride. This has been dark work, Diomedes. Kyrus left much corrupted, and cleansing had to be both thorough and merciless. Yet now, we are pure and noble. It has been a necessary act, though. Our chapter lives, free of darkness and corruption at long last. I know I cannot serve the chapter in the same manner as before. But you, Gabriel, chapter master is fitting. None shall find you wanting. And yeah. <laughs> he survived. <laughs> yeah, though far from unharmed because I'm pretty sure he lost his legs in that and basically got put into a suit of Terminator armor to act as life support. <laughs> okay, Pizza, this great gate has some great cinematics. Yes, they really do. <laughs> Uh, which makes it such a shame that the third game just took such a nosedive with everything. Or at least on the gameplay part. I'm, I'm a bit unsure on if the story in that takes as much of a dive. And if it does go on sale for real cheap, like 10 or 5 bucks, I would be willing to buy it and stream it at some point, just to see what happens. Uh, I suggest to look up on YouTube for I think they went the Dota way with the, the game. Okay, I don't see how you could really <laughs> do War and Dawn of War as a, a League of Legends ish like or such like that, but I'll just have to see about it. But yeah, I think that's was the problem. <clears throat> along Either with way, the, though. Hmm? along with Terminators. Doing somersaults in the air. Yeah. Which is... <laughs> just plain not possible with the amount of weights. And speaking of Terminator armor, I did a bit of a look up on the Dawn of War wiki, and apparently it wasn't originally mining equipment, but at least what it said. I mostly glanced through it, I didn't do a thorough read, I'll admit that. But apparently the first Terminator armors appeared uh, among the Techno Barbarians uh, before the Emperor really uh, rose to power with everything. Well, I heard that there was the first a mine equip, unless. Unless it was the Techno Barbarians who weaponized the mine equipment. Mm, maybe. The, the thing with Warhammer 40k is that there's just so much content and information about everything, and it's also rather easy for misinformation to slip in with everything. See yeah, the uh, so previous discussions about... Uh, <laughs> about Bane Blades being quote-unquote scout tanks. Yeah, this is just bizarre. But yeah, <laughs> but also some are probably intentional for... news, news flash people. The Imperium has a horrible record keeping. Yeah, like most of it is still in freaking paper, and if <laughs> which just rusts, not rusts, uh, just oh no no, <clears throat> which falls apart. Double paper and computerized. Probably is it so vast and so hard to look through that it can take you decades just to find something. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll have to see about Dawn of War 3 maybe sometime. Oh, voice casts. 
Zeta, Alan Shearman for Jonah the Weird Boy and the Adapts, Brian Dobson for the Force Commander. Uh, there's a certain name I'm looking for among here. Gideon Emery, Gray McTavish, Ian Gregory, James Horan, Keith Ferguson, Keith, I'm not even going to attempt, Kirsten Potter for the Inquisitor, the Hive Mind, which, well, we'll, we'll find out this weekend how they sound. Neil Kaplan for the Orcs, uh, for the Knobs and the Ogrens. Mark Hildreth, Megan Hollingshead, Patrick Zietz, uh, Paul Dobson, Peter Giles, Philip Anthony Rodriguez, Richard Doyle, Robert Atkin Downs, Scott McNeil, and Steve Blom as Eliphas, Cyrus, Martellus, and Orcs. So, yeah. <laughs> Offer Squad was voiced by Steve Blum. Oh, oh, good gods. And music by Doyle W. Donahue. Okay. Okay. And let's see. What else is there really to discuss? There are some Warhammer games that I want to stream eventually as well, but it will be a while before we get to that. Plus, I want to make sure which to stream. Like um, the Mechanicus? Maybe. But I definitely want to do not a Warhammer 40k game, but a Warhammer game. Uh, Vermintides. Oh, you mean Warhammer Fantasy? Yeah, yep. there should be a, a few of those around. And there's one I think we could do that's a bit older now, but well, maybe it's maybe possible to do a series on still. Uh, Mock of Chaos. Okay, I've heard that one a few times, I think. Let me actually go look it up. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's campaign style, but it it's doable. It sh should be doable. <laughs> Yeah, storyboarding, early animation, and the final product again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Warhammer Mark of Chaos. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is it uh, real-time tactics? Okay, so... Uh, Guessing that second icon is more from Total Warhammer. Let me have a look here. <laughs> and it's a real-time tactics game. Developed by Black Hole Entertainment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Gameplay. Okay, so sort of similar to uh, Dawn of War and Total Warhammer ish, I'm guessing. Kinda. You will okay. have. You will make camps between missions where you will uh, resupply equipment, uh, people, upgrade armor, recruit more people, and all that. Hmm. Basically, we get the feel of uh, that, yes, you are leading a group of military through the Empire. Okay, could be interesting, because we have done other RTS games before. Like, well, the original Dawn of War and Impossible Creatures. Yeah, <clears throat> dude, this one would probably be less of getting stuck due to the AI cheating. Yeah. Since, yeah, you, they, but they, they don't have bases to recruit soldiers on in that manner. You have yeah. what you bring in, basically. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we were stuck on that one level in Impossible Breaches for like three streams or so, I think. Yeah, and what's another one we were stuck on two streams for? Uh, we got stuck there twice! Yeah, yeah that, that's sort of uh, what happens when you get games that don't have difficulty settings. That They can be uh, a, bit more <laughs> a bit more difficult than you'd really expect or be able to handle. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, can um, I recommend Dark Omen for... I have seen people do series on them. And again, since we do two to something like three hour streams, I feel like it should be doable. Let's see, you said Mark of Chaos before, now you said Dark Omen? 
Oh no, 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 Mark of Chaos, I mean. Dog, Mark of Chaos. Dog Omen is a very old game. Yeah. Which I think it was inspired by. This looks uh, more played. Warcraft 2 uh, <laughs> levels. <laughs> yeah, actually, I have Dog Omen. And I've, I've said this. If I were to play it nowadays, I probably would be able to finish it easily. But I played it as a. 10 year old? So, yeah, it. it, it, it I, I was able to reach the final level, but. Uh, um, not, not much with. Not much forces with me. Let's see, pizza. Do you guys do racing games? Depends. No. What, uh, what do you have in mind? No. <laughs> yeah, the, no the problem racing with racing games. games. Yeah, the, the problem with racing games is that it typically can be quite a drag to get from one story beat to another. But uh, yeah, what game would you suggest then, uh, pizza? There, Need for Speed Heat. Um, I actually beat that uh, a while ago. And the story is nice and all, but it does take a bit of getting... <laughs> it, it has an annoying thing where you need to get to certain levels with reputation and such before you can actually progress with levels. So maybe not so much for streaming, but maybe we could, well, make recordings of that and splice them together for YouTube videos instead. Yeah, but also there's also a thing that I don't like racing games. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I never liked them. There was a period I might have it, liked them slightly in early gaming years, but I grew quickly away from them. Hmm, pardon. But yeah, we'll we'll see about that perhaps sometime. Hmm. Yeah. If if, if he streams a racing game, I'm probably not. Yeah, there's a good chance I'm not become competitive on that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we still need to record the side thing for the section brutale to put on the ends with uh, to put on YouTube going over the lore and such. But we can see about that uh, maybe Friday or so. Hmm. Did you stream on Friday? Yeah, let's see. Pizza. Yeah, I got many games there. I'll find some more. Okay. Yeah, we could try it early in the. A we could try it in the afternoon. No need to stream that. Just record. And just uh, put that at the end of the playlist for people who are interested in all of that. <clears throat> okay, credit's still going. Just half the screen that's being unused. Yeah, it is a quite a long credit, but luckily enough, we finished it in a good manner for me. We got plenty of time before we end it normally. Yeah. Let's see. Other things, uh, yeah, since we're moving this game over to the weekend for the other factions, we'll have that going quite for quite a bit alongside Nefarious and whatever Elder game we put on there once we're done with Elder. Nefarious. Mm -hmm. You said Elder game. <laughs> other games. Actually, has there been a game, has there been a 40k game where you play primarily as the Elder? Like, I know there was the one for the Tau. Of. Hmm. Yeah, the town got one uh, very much when it premiered, but yes, yeah, so the Elder don't have a dedicated. Most games has been either Space Marine, well, Imperium, and Tau got one. Or we had games where you can't play most of them, but none, not many have been dedicated to, to, so much uh, to one. Uh, Action that, like beside the orcs and space marine, and one from yeah. the out for. Hmm. Yeah, I hope they will make some Eldor games and Necron games and such. You know, just to spread the love a bit. Yeah, I think Mechanicus could partially count as a Necron game since they are the primary focus of that and such. Yeah, but... but they are the foe. Hmm. It could be it could be interesting to have an Eldar game where you play it with a bit more through uh, manipulation instead of outright combat. So it would also be a part of it where you try to well, accomplish some sort of goal, but in part in part mostly through manipulating other factions to well route each other. 
so you don't have to fight them instead. That could be interesting, perhaps. Yeah, or if you play as a Eldar Ranger or something. Hmm. So, so it doesn't really be like a sniper game, I guess. I think I heard. I think I heard at some points that there was an Eldar game planned where you play as a ranger for something, but I could just be misremembering misrem re yeah, mis something there. Uh, it could also hmm. be a console game for. There has been many console games, and do remember, Warcraft and Starcraft were. Uh, Warcraft were originally supposed to be a Warhammer game. <laughs> And like this Starcraft 2. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, Pizza, any games you want to suggest, you can put them up on the Discord. <clears throat> and yeah, for now, though, yeah, we'll just have to keep really waiting this out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, if people <clears throat> have games, do, as I said, put them up on Discord. And we will do a, do a little investigation. Let's see, might have a game, but it might be too hard for you guys. Uh, which are you thinking of? Dark Souls? Hmm. Oh, wait. Hmm. If you say getting over it... <laughs> oh, Dark Souls. Yeah, I don't think I would uh, do well with that. I'm still just freaking going with this, huh? Uh, oh, God. But yeah, not Sanado. Like, there is a story in Dark Souls, just that it's more environmental. You have to look up the bits, find the NPCs, read the items. Yeah, we we just be more confused than anything else with everything. <laughs> but yeah, now that we're done with uh, this campaign, that means that Thursday we'll be starting on a series that is a lot more colorful and a lot more. Uh, <laughs> A lot less depressing. Sonic. <laughs> the Blue Eagle Cotton. Uh, let's see. There is some other games I can think of which doesn't require anything like this. It isn't hard, doesn't drag. Okay, what are you thinking of then? But uh, yeah. Thursday means we'll be starting on the Sonic Adventure games. One, two, and technically Heroes counts as a third. And yeah, we'll be alternating that with some Star Wars games. Though more in a way that we'll do some Sonic games in a row, then do a few Star Wars games, then do a few more Sonic, and then finish up with Star Wars again. And we'll just have to see what right, we pick I up after that. that. I had almost forgotten that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Sniper, Sniper Elite. Elite. Okay. We have showcased that. Yeah, and we were somewhat interested in it. And I do have... Yeah, that, do... That, I, I need to have one to showcase it. <laughs> yeah, do, did it have some technical issues with it? Uh, more that it was drawing a lot of resources from my computer, I think. I count that as a major technical issue. <laughs> yeah, we just have to, we just we just I just have to uh, lower the graphics and such a lot. Uh, let's see, can do you the second or third that. or fourth. There is a fifth I mean, you and did sixth. That still build a lot of power. Hmm. Yeah, we, we just have we we'd have to test that again. Yeah, let's see. I myself would suggest an Elite Sniper Elite Four. That is the one I have, I think. And I don't think there's a sixth yet, Pizza. I think they're just up to five. But yeah, could definitely take another look at that, try and get it to behave more with uh, OBS and such. Then again, I think, I think then we were still using the game capture instead of the screen capture, like, like doing or display capture, like we're doing now, which seems to generally work better. Yeah. Again, Sniper Elite is possible as long as we figure out to make sure we don't have the world power issue. Yeah, that it doesn't work, go too slow or such. And yeah, once the credits are done, we'll be going off to raid someone. Uh, any suggestions, Pizza?
And this is just going and going and going. <laughs> I'm pretty sure last time I was thinking that it was repeating it or something. I know I've seen at least, I've seen Games Workshop come by like twice already now. Let's see, now nah, I got no one. Okay. Seriously, how long is this going to keep on still? I should, okay, I should put on a freaking timer of how long this takes. <laughs> Probably a good idea. I think it's been at least 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, actually, two hours. <laughs> uh, let's see, never mind. Got someone who just went live. Okay, who then? <coughs> hmm. Three O Jack. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Oh, I almost yep. forgot. Hopefully... Oh, wait, we we'll probably say this before we end stream. Never mind. Hmm? Uh, the Valheim thing? Uh, yeah, probably Valheim tomorrow, since Glacier Boy said they'd be up for it. We'll still have to see if that remains the same tomorrow. But, yeah. <clears throat> and let's see, Shreo Jack is playing Evil Within 2. Okay, I've heard... I've seen a playthrough of that game, and it is pretty good. Uh, well, fun chatting with you. Hope to see you soon. Remember to stay hydrated. Yeah, that's why I have this big ass bottle over here. That's a mug. No. <laughs> Off screen. Okay, I, I think it's finally getting to the end. Now it's going on the external you know, partners. Let's see. Sticking around for the raid. Okay. <clears throat> Motion capture cleanup, IT manager, art outsourcing services provided by Wind King Entertainment. Okay, art outsourcing virtuous games. Okay. And these actually, okay, these use initials. Additional QA testing by iEnergizer. Okay, I'm guessing those are names from India or that region, maybe? Uh, India to Indonesia region, maybe? No. Okay. Uh, yes, and I think this move... India, Taiwan, and busy around those areas, maybe, yeah. in Thailand even, and some yeah. Middle Eastern? <laughs> Uh, the, the names that were in that, the names for one of the companies has just scrolled by Pizza. They looked uh, to be from that region, I think. Then again, I'm absolutely terrible with judging where names come from, so could just be the polar opposite of the planets, for all I know. Hmm. Hey, there's an alien where. There's, there's a term I don't hear anymore. What's the time. Where Aero spoke of best computers or Alienware, you cannot escape anywhere. No, you never sure. hear about that at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gone these days. No, no, they're still there, but I think they have been issues with them. Like, they actually got banned in some states due to they require too much power to be dry used. Okay. <clears throat> but, this yeah. is a different problem. We finished the campaign with the orcs, we finished it with the space marines, and next time we'll be playing it as the Tyranids. <laughs> because <laughs> your kid just wants to know what the hell is going to be up with that. <laughs> uh, the hungry boys. Okay, but for now, let's end the game and head on over here so we can go look for someone to raid. So let me move all of this over there. Change screen share, the Twitch, live, and let's have a look then. Uh, let's see, what was the name? Oh, Three O Jack. Yeah, there. Browser is muted because. Also, I should I should keep in mind to just actually make sure that the stream ends this time because the last stream we caught a bit of the piece you know, of the stream that we rated. <clears throat> And yeah, 
Diva Within 2. But just to be sure, let's take a look at the other people who are online. We have Dr. Misunderstood with Jacuzza Like a Dragon. Black Shadow with Control. Swabe is playing retro games again. Uh, let's see. Still Jagged Alliance 2. Okay. Code named Ferret is playing Total War Shogun 2. Rem the Wolf is playing Skyrim. Snoop Doob is playing Noita. Okay. I'm a Flanker is playing Ready or Not. Touch Chili Tail is playing Cuisineer, which I believe is that, uh, that food based uh, roguelite or something. Uh, looks cute all the same, so from the preview here. Big V Streams is playing Baldur's Gate 3. And then we have Karen A with Anode Hearts. And last but not least, we have Halloween with Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. <clears throat> okay. Who would you suggest, or shall I take a pick? Uh, I want to put my vote to, to Free Yak. Okay. Will you have in mind? And I was thinking them as well, might as well, well meet some other new people. So, copy the name, slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. And let's see. Thank you, Tatum and Royce, uh, Roy Muxa or Muxa. Uh, thank you all for watching. Let's see. Do we have any typical lurkers? Nope, it seems. And yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. And yeah, like I said, uh, probably tomorrow, Valheim stream together with Drakir and Glacier Boy, and Thursday we'll be starting with the Sonic games. <laughs> <clears throat> but for now, let's get that race started. And okay, no block. Okay. Thank you, everyone. For the Thank you all for watching again, and yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls and nerglings. <laughs> and all the other horrors of the warp. Oh, yeah. <laughs>